Alan Edgehead here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. On the last episode, we took on level 7, and now we need to make our way to level 8. But in that last session, I had some, uh... Hold on, I'm gonna walk off the screen for a second, so I don't want to kill these enemies. A lot of misinformation. And by a lot, I mean, like, I said you needed the... You needed six hearts to get the, the white sword. You only need five. That was many episodes ago, but it was in one session ago, so... One, two... Kill two enemies. Three, four, five... Six... Where, where are more enemies? Seven, eight, nine, ten. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. Well, <clears throat> I did a thing wrong. Tenth enemy has the bomb. I don't know, man. Having people help me figure that stuff out. And it didn't even do right. So let's just ignore me trying to bomb those enemies, and we're going to move on. We need to make our way to level 8. And level 8 has two dungeon items that I'm going to be on the lookout for. Ha! Ha! Magic Rod. Okay. Let me try to remember where level 8 even is. Why am I still picking up money at this point? I've bought everything that I'm going to need, I think. Anyway, okay, and that's what we call wrecking enemies. Is is it is it this way? Let me look at my map. Somewhere in this general area. Why did I go this way? The, the weird, the weirdest of ways. Okay. We're zigzagging. We're convoluting this 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 whole trip up, but whatever. I'll be there momentarily. It is ow, and I got hit. I got hit again. But I'm back at full health. I want that to make up for the one bomb that I wasted. Dungeon number eight is if I can get to my candle. Dungeon number eight. Right there. Hello, level eight. What's up, level eight? This level probably gonna be annoying. So I'm just gonna go straight up, go to the right. I'm ahead of the game on keys, but whatever. At this point, I'm just gonna grab everything. Because why not? Take that. I keep hitting the pause button instead of the, the menu button. Another thing that I said about the potions, I don't know if I mentioned it or how it works. If you have a blue potion and you buy a blue potion, apparently it makes a red potion, so you don't have to... I don't know what I was trying to say. You don't have to buy a red potion. If you have a blue potion, you can just buy a blue potion, and it'll make a red potion. What is on this screen? Enemies that I don't want to deal with. And the bubbles hit me, and I can't swing my sword. Gibdos, dead, and, ah, bubbles. Okay. Forgive me if I'm like, sounding weird. I just ate a payday. So I have n bits of nuts in my mouth. Because that's not a weird thing to say. I probably should have drank a beverage or something. And I don't know, man. But I d who doesn't enjoy a good payday? Nuts and caramel. Some people say caramel, but whatever. These bats are being a pain in the butt. I got the book 
The Book of Magic spells, so now our rod does something different. <laughs> Action Bastard says, put your mouth on my rod. It turns into a fire. <laughs> it turns into a fire! I'm gonna bring my candle back out, because I know the rooms are gonna go dark again. Actually, no, I want my bombs, because I think I'm gonna run across another manhandler. And I'm gonna try to kill him pretty fast. So let's check this out. What's up, manhandler? Manhandle that, son! And normally you'd be like, whoa, what do I do? Yo, bomb of the walls, bro. Blue darkness. Oh, jeez. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Me get wrecked by dark nuts. At this point, I don't even know if I need to kill him, but I got a fairy out of it, so whatever. And a heart. And nothing. And... Oh, it was just a key. The compass is this way. In darkness! When darkness turns to light! We kill Poles' voices. Oh, jeez. How many hits do they take? Whatever, I don't need to kill them. I'm outie. I'm trying to figure my bearings out here. And figure out how to get... Well... Well... How to get to the second dungeon item. If I could swing my sword ever... Oh, MG. I want that. Get away from me. The erratic movement of bubbles bother me. Let me stand here for a second. I can't swing my sword in the doorway. Where am I? What room am I in? I got hit, but I don't care. I'm in this room. If I go to the left, where's the second dungeon item? I'm gonna go up. Not in here. survived where am I bombs another manhandler Why didn't that do anything? I mean, it clearly made a noise, but it didn't do anything. It didn't kill it. There we go. That's the map. So where is the second dungeon item? Oh! Okay, Goma. Way to be a pain in my butt. Ow. This way. 
Now what's on this screen? Dark nuts. Very, very dark nuts. Two of them are stuck in there. The Poles voices can jump everywhere, apparently. I'm gonna grab that. What do we want? Ah! Yo, you did. Now how do we go about killing these guys? Oh, like that. But the Poles voice! Ah! I'm not gonna be able to get the bombs! Get the bombs. Got it. Second dungeon item. The magical key. I don't know what it's called. But now we have unlimited keys. So I was ahead of the game for no reason. But now I just gotta find my way to the actual boss. But I think I can do that easily. <laughs> this is where a manhandler was. This is where the map was. Back down. And to the right. I don't need to fight these guys, so I'm not gonna. Because it just let me go down. So this warps us to another area. The other area is right here. And apparently I need to kill all the Poles voices to open the door. But we're close to the boss. That is a good item to get, is it not? That is... That is beautiful. Can't hit him. Can't get the key either. Walk all the way around over here to kill these Poles voices. And that opened the door. I don't need to go to the right, because you know what? You can get to the boss by coming this way. Suddenly, Gleok, take 57. Can I tank him? Can I out-tank him? I can. And we grab our final heart container. And with that, we jump up, claim the last fragment of the Triforce. That was surprisingly short and uh, ah, I was supposed to try to go into the final dungeon without a completed Triforce because it gives you a special message but I completely forgot to do that sorry buddy I'm not gonna be able to do that for you but with that I will trek my way to dungeon number number nine just cause we haven't had a long enough episode yet most of the Zelda episodes have been 15-ish minutes we were at like 12 so I'll just trek my way to the dungeon and save myself from going all the way back to the beginning actually I can test out something by I have a blue potion I can buy a blue potion and see if it gives me a red potion because I'm just going by word of mouth wish something would drop a heart thank you now we're at the potion shop so what's up potion lady get in the door Okay, blue potion. We bought a blue potion. It's red! Yay! Yay learning! Yay money. Okay, now we gotta make our way to Death Mountain and Spectacle Rock. Spectacle Rock! A staple of uh, Zelda games. In practically all of them. Or a variation of Spectacle Rock. Turtle Rock, Spectacle Rock, Kakariko Village, all sorts of different repeating areas. Is this the way I want to go? It is the way I want to go. No, it's not. I want to go up this ladder. 
There's a Lionel. I'm not even gonna worry about it. You are not for me to worry about right now. I'll take those bombs though. And here we've made it to Spectacle Rock, full of Lionels and fairies and levers. Okay, here we go. Dungeon number nine is right here. There's dungeon number nine. And we'll tackle it next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. I'm Alan Etched, and I'm flashing.